All right, here's something I haven't had a look at on my show, and um, or at least I believe I haven't had a look at it. I've got so many videos on YouTube, it's hard to keep track of what I've done and what I haven't done. But at any rate, DistroWatch this morning announced that uh, Artin Zorn has released Zorn OS 9 Educational Light Edition. And uh, this is based on Ubuntu, or Lubuntu, 14.04, and we're going to have a look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. <laughs> All right, let's begin. On first glance, we have a pretty nice looking lightweight desktop available to us upon first launching after an install. On the lower right corner of the screen, you're going to, from right to left, you're going to see that you have a, a power button which will allow you to sign out, log in, power off the machine. You have a clock, and when you click on that, it gives you a calendar. You also have your network connectivity. You can change your keyboard layout. You can also change your language and a volume control. You have two desktop switchers, so if you have multiple applications open, you know you can have some applications running on different desktops, and that's standard with most Linux distributions today. This is a quick launch to your file manager, and a very nice, light, and sleek appearance here where you can navigate through all of your files on your system. Kind of has a, a Windows 8 appearance, and of course this is the same appearance that is shared across all of the Zorin distros. Firefox comes preloaded with this, and of course, it is the latest and greatest version. Okay, and then of course, a number of accessories come preloaded with this, such as your archive manager, a calculator, character maps for inserting characters that just aren't on your keyboard, you know? Hey, uh, you've got uh, a disk utility. Uh, great for those of you with USB flash drives, and some of you have reported that uh, you may have problems after, you know, making a, an ISO, a bootable uh, flash drive. Well, this utility here will let you actually clean out those flash drives after you've installed the Linux distro on it. So that it's nice that that's included in here. You also have a simple text editor called LeafPad, and it's very lightweight, sticky notes, quick access to your terminal for running advanced commands through a, user, a line user interface. You get external for taking handwritten notes. All right, and then education. This is the meat and potatoes of this distribution, and this is what makes it separate from other distributions that are available out there, because this is a great choice for you parents out there who want to give your children an edge in school, or maybe you just want to brush up on your skills yourself. Uh, so, and some of these are also listed in the games category. It's one thing that I have noticed in that uh, they're listed in multiple places. Uh, but the thing is, you do have memory enhancement games available to you. You have Celestia, and then, of course, Stellarium for astronomy. Uh, educational suite of games for ages 2 through 10, so great for primary school as well. You also have a CAD software for those of you who are into computer-aided design. GeoGebra, I'm assuming that's algebra. Uh, you also have the uh, KDE periodic table of elements. I used to know all of them, and now I probably could only tell you maybe two or three of them. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I've been in school, so maybe I could benefit from some of this. Okay, you have uh, uh, the KDE letter order game called uh, K-Anagram. Uh, you can practice exercises with fractions. They have the hangman game, and a bunch of other really neat little... Uh, educational utilities that are included with this. So a nice selection has been put in. And I have to admit, I've looked at a number of educational softwares uh, that come with Linux. Some of them are really great and some of them, well, are not so great. So your mileage may vary on some of these applications. Uh, a few games are thrown in. And then again, these games are, you know, for various age groups. Uh, you know, I see a few of these are really geared towards children, but um, but at any rate, they're here for uh, you know, um, yeah, exercising that 
gray matter up there. Okay, and then uh, in graphics, you get a number of really great tools that are preloaded with this, which will allow you to get some graphics done here. You have a diagram editor. You also have a document viewer, an ebook viewer. You get um, the GIMP. Okay, there's also pencil included with this and Scribus for desktop publishing. Simple Scan is also included as well. In the internet, pretty much um, you get uh, the Firefox web browser, Geary Mail, Geary Mail, Pigeon for your instant messaging needs. Personally, I think I would have liked to see an IRC client thrown in here. And then, of course, the Zorin web browser manager. And this, of course, will ask you for your password. Then it gives you the option of installing a web browser of your choice with just a simple click. So uh, that's always nice. And Zorin has always been well known for having features like that, especially in his Ultimate Editions. Okay, uh, you don't get the LibreOffice suite included with this. I think he wanted lightweight in mind when he put this together. But you do get Abbey Word. You do get a ebook management system. Uh, you have that document viewer, an ebook viewer. Can you Merrick for your spreadsheet sheets? And then of course you can create mind maps. Mm. Okay. <laughs> a few little programming tools included in this. What they do, I haven't got a clue. Okay, and then in sound and video, just a disc burner. So when he put this together as an educational system, that's what he meant to do with this so it doesn't look like you have a media player or anything installed like that but the thing is right after you install this a pop-up window does appear which gives you the uh, uh, options to install additional extras should you decide you want them i opted not to do that and i didn't go into any details with this but you also have some system tools for adding and removing software right here your software center or software updater and that is the program that automatically launched and so it's nice that he's got that in there because it will launch letting you know that there are updates available for your system. So it's highly recommended that after you install this, you do install the updates because even though I'm showing that this came out today, it still said that there were updates that were required to be installed. So, and, and that's just a hallmark what the, what Linux is all about because I mean, we're constantly getting patches to our operating system security fixes and that sort of thing. So all good there. Preferences. Everything you need uh, to uh, make this system yours is located in here with the inclusion of the Zorin look changer. And presently at this time, you only get two choices. You can either make this look like Windows 2000, which I believe that's what this is doing here, uh, the desktop that we're looking at. But you can also give it a Mac OS X kind of look and feel where you're going to have the, you know, title bar, you know, your task manager at the top, and then you're going to have uh, a dock at the bottom with some uh, applications so you know uh, those are pretty much your choices there but the thing is you know uh, LXDE is very easy to configure you know you can right click and go into your desktop preferences here and you know you can change uh, the graphics to anything you want you know so uh, you know you can download pictures from the internet and you know put in an image and change that you know, you also have the option of changing uh, how, uh, you know, your uh, how your taskbar or uh, panel is uh, appearing. And you can tell it icons only, flat buttons, and that sort of thing. So pretty much, you know, the sky is the limit here. There's a lot of things that you can uh, do with your panel. You know, you can change its alignment to the top. And there are uh, tons of other appearance options available to you. So, I mean, and, and it's not in a very difficult interface. It's very easy. So most of you who are, you know, coming over from Windows or Mac should find this very, very easy to use. And that's why, you know, Zorin has always used that slogan stating, you know, the gateway to Linux. Because for many people, this is. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, when I was uh, new to Linux, I started out with Mint and then played around with Ultimate Edition. And then I looked at Zorin OS, and Zorin OS was a nice option for me, and I used that for a little while, and I liked it so much that I actually purchased a copy of the Ultimate Edition, which gave you everything 
and uh, you know I was able to look at it and see what made the animated wallpapers work and you know it gave me a chance to toy around with it and uh, that sort of thing the the only thing about Zorin for me personally is I felt that I just outgrew it too quickly um, but for some people you know Zorin may be everything that they'll that they'll need and we do have some members on my uh, on cup of linux.com who use Zorin regularly and they absolutely love it and so I always like to see what uh, RTM Zorin brings to the table with his releases and I know I haven't looked at his ultimate edition that recently shipped but I because I wanted to have a chance to show you guys uh, some of his other offerings. So this is a very nice lightweight system that we have here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, have a look and see what we've got in terms of uh, system resources here. You can see here that this is only using 193 megs of RAM, so that is not very much at all when you when you think about everything when you think about everything that is running uh, presently on the system. So this was designed with uh, older computers in mind. So this is great if you're handing down a computer to one of the kids and that sort of thing. You know, uh, you'd be able to slap this on there and they'd be able to use it quite well and there are a plethora of packages um, in the uh, in the repositories that they could download and install on this so all in all nice job Mr. Zorin alright and uh, that's all I have on this uh, I'd like to show you on the screen here um, Cup of Linux is more than just a YouTube channel uh, we've got a whole community at cupoflinux.com and on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time UTC negative 5 it is Cup of Linux game night and this the video you're seeing on the screen presently is Zonotic that's what all of you guys voted on and so that's what we're going to be playing for the next two weeks we also played it last weekend as well and if you want to get in on Cup of Linux gaming point your browser to cupoflinux.com and check out our gaming community this is where you can vote on the next games that we're going to be playing because every game that gets voted in gets uh, runs for three weeks and then after the three weeks we pick out another game and it's a lot of fun so you can join us uh, at cupoflinux.com we also have a mumble server we'll be chatting during gameplay and uh, it is a blast so be sure to check that out well, that's all I have, folks. As a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who bring you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coin. Peace out. Mm -hmm.